Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and today I'm going to be talking about Evil Dead Inbred Rednecks. It is a 2012 movie directed by Chris Seaver. The movie is about a young group of stereotypical partiers who go to a cabin on Halloween to have a good time, but somehow end up summoning evil, and evil manifests itself in a mullet-clad redneck named Leo Champ. Will the dumb cabin goers end up with their buttholes taken for the redneck collection or the, will they figure out how to save themselves and the world? So my likes. Uh, there is an Elvira-esque character that kind of narrates our journey throughout this whole movie and also gives a pretty blunt description of what you're going to watch at the beginning of the movie and I thought that was hilarious. It was so funny. It was like if Elvira's like the sexiest thing then this character that I can't remember her name is the antithesis and it was great uh, the sheer ridiculousness of this movie it is completely self-aware as to what it is and it makes no excuses for that and it's hilarious and I love trauma and it gave me such trauma vibes if you like trauma, you know what I mean. If you don't like trauma, you know what I mean. And it seemed like there was a lot of attention paid to the dialogue. It is so detailed and descriptive. You can tell someone definitely put real effort into that, even if the effort was to make it kind of as gross as possible. It's still effort. It still counts. And I appreciate that. My dislikes. I only really have one dislike, and it's a racial slur that was kind of thrown in there. But as it was from one of the Evil Dead inbred redneck characters after they turned into that, it was most likely put there on purpose, because you're already supposed to be kind of like grossed out and disgusted by these people. It kind of just cements that imagery. And it made me cringe, but I'm pretty sure it was supposed to make me cringe because I was like, oh my god, you can't say that. Well, they did, but they're gross and they're dead, whatever. So I give this movie a 4 out of 5. I really enjoyed it. I watched it alone the first time. And then I kind of forced the groom to watch it with me just because I was like, oh my god, you have to watch this. Are you watching this? Keep watching this. Watch this part. This is hilarious. Oh my god. And he's just like... <sighs> So obviously, I really enjoyed it. I understand not everyone is going to enjoy this. I understand it's not everyone's cup of tea. I was so entertained the entire time, though. I liked it. Good job. Probably a lot of people aren't going to share that opinion, but one way you will find out if you share my opinion or not is to check out this movie. I found it streaming on Amazon Prime Video. There are physical copies, but it looks like they might be a little tricky to track down unless you have a lot of time and have access to eBay and that sort of thing. But I, I would don't duh, bleh, lose my words. Totally suggest that you check it out. Let me know what you think. Have you seen this movie? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. If you did like the video, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Hit the bell for all notifications of my uploads. You can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews and on Twitter at Reanimator. And you should totally check out this movie. Just learn.